All right, in this video, we're going to look at using Corel Draw. So the idea is that you would have already set up the program, you've downloaded it, and you've settled the default settings that we need. Now, these settings I already talked about, uh, when I draw with this, it's going to be already a red line, it's already a hairline, uh, things like that. That's what we need this to look like. So we're going to make this little key ring with your name. So what we're going to do is get the text, and first thing we need to do is pop. So obviously, I've done my first name. I'm now going to make one with my last name, so P-R-O-F-I-L-I-O. -I -I now the font that looks quite nice, you can choose your own font, but the one that I'm going to use here is called Cooper Black. And the font for this, I reckon we can go somewhere up near 48, that's what I did there. And so there we have the starting point. So we can make this square about the same, so we know where we're editing and what we're keeping in place. So what we need to do is make the outline red. So over to the color palette on the right and you use your right your right click and then with your left click click on the transparent not white. You want it to be transparent. So now it's created just that word there, profilio. So we're now going to go up here and we're going to change object and we're going to break profilio apart. So obviously whatever word you've written in there is what it's going to break apart. And now we want to go back to object and we want to convert it to curves. And we need to select the entire word when we do that. Object, convert to curves. So here we are. Now, we now want to make them overlap each other. So select each word. I'm just going to use the keyboard to do that. You can use the mouse, but I prefer to keep it all on that same plane, move across. Now this is just for your preference, how far across, how short you want all these letters to go across. So we'll just move them one by one, work out how much of that you want to overlap. I don't think there's a particularly right or wrong when it comes to this. And obviously every name will be a little bit different. When you're moving, you can hold the shift button down, and that does allow you to move on that same plane. So I'll show you what I mean by that. If I move this all over the place, but if I hold shift down, then it takes it to that same level. So you can look at doing that if you want to try and speed up that process. Once we've done that, we now want to look at getting the virtual segment delete. So that's this tool here. Now, you might have it set to crop might be that symbol we need to click on it and get to virtual segment delete now you can see with my letter a i've deleted some of that letter and kept the letter on the right so i'm going to delete some of the p to keep the full letter r so now i'm going to delete the r to see all of the o so just go through and do that getting rid of all those little bits zoom in and out as you need you really do need a mouse when doing this kind of stuff it makes your life a lot easier than just using a trackpad if you're using a laptop all right so that's got what i want to see there now we need to add a little hole so when we're doing that we can pick a spot on your name now when i draw a circle with corel it starts where i've clicked is that furthest left point as if i was drawing a square if I hold the shift button down, then it draws it from the center, which is what I'm after. So there's my first little circle. Now I'm going to go control D, and I've just got another one. The exact same there. I've thrown that in that spot. Now again, as I zoom out, it does that from that same spot. But if I hold that letter, hold down shift, then it comes up from the center. So now that I've got that, again, let's look up at that letter A. I want to keep that circle, so I'll delete some parts there. So I'm going to delete the middle of that circle, I'm going to delete the outside, and that outside. <coughs> and that's the shape that I'm after at this point. So, I've typed the letters, we've gone through those little processes there. So we've looked at the name, change the font, 48 is always a good one, outline the word, right click red, left click the fill, make it to clear. 
but then gone to object and then broken it apart. You then gone to object and converted it to curves, but then moved each letter. And then we've got the virtual segment delete, and we've deleted little bits and pieces that we don't want. And then we've added in this little circle. So now what I want to do, I want to highlight the word, and across here, you should have an option of weld. Now that should also be somewhere in here under shaping. We've got weld. Now that we've welded this together, we want to go back to object, and we go back to shaping, and we want to create a boundary. And so what that does, you might actually notice what just happened. I lost that little circle, which is annoying. So what I actually want to do, I'm going to grab that circle, click on that part there, and let's go minus 25. Just dropped it down. So I've clicked inside here on the Y coordinates, and I've just gone minus 25. So I'm going to highlight that again, go to object, shaping, weld, which was that little key, that little icon there. Go back to object, shaping, and now we're going to get a boundary. What that does is make me a little boundary. Now somehow we just lost the letter L. So I'm going to go back. We've selected everything. We're going to object, shaping, weld. Object, shaping, boundary. And we're seeing that I've lost the letter L. Possibly, when we've welded 